Okay, London spin crashing wise. First we do a side star. Okay. And then from here I go into a whale. Okay. This is not the full London spin. I'm doing uh, a modified version to get you to at least get the dexterity of your feet. Mm -hmm. And then once you get that solid, we'll start doing the whole thing. Okay. So from here, here's the most common fall. So you know whale falling this way is bad, right? Mm -hmm. It's very little that you can do. So I always teach the flyer, I never fly someone well unless the flyer is very confident in falling, knowing how to roll out of it and bringing their feet down. Okay. I'm dropping you hard on me. <laughs> I want you to really, because there's That's nothing cool. you can do over there. Yeah. Okay. There's very little. And even if you collapse your feet, your her head's coming down. There's very little you can do. So I really tell, Keep the feet up. I, I, yeah, I, 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 I try to get the flyer really confident in learning how to roll towards the fall versus okay. just shy away from it. Okay. Okay, here, here's another possible fall. This is the hardest transition is the whale and to side star over here, okay? Yeah. Watch this part. Uh, the foot placement is real key here. She's gonna grab my inside knee, and come over here. And once she's here, if she falls down towards you, it's just the feet, right. big deal. If she's falling over here, it's hard, right? So if she's falling over here, lower that leg and try to keep your arm up. Okay. And have her again brace, brace herself. I always think about keeping the hip down and raising the torso. You can even use this for the catcher in the armpit and lift her up a little bit. Okay. So your ability to use your feet as hands to catch one is, is uh, will really help separate you as a uh, decent base to a really nice safe base where they feel like they're falling on a pillow versus the hard ground, right? Okay. Okay, so let's break this down. Bird. Um, you can do side star with or without hands. If you do it without, let, make sure that she grabs it first, okay? Shift. Over, really get those toes around the butt and grab. Um, so I'll do here first. I'll stay, once she feels the foot, and only before, a lot of times flyers will start transitioning before there's a platform. <laughs> so once she feels this, then she can lean back. Uh -huh. You can grab this foot here, uh -huh. or you can grab this foot before even. Guide her over, yeah. you're in way out, okay? Okay, be mindful that fall over there. Here comes the pivot, this is the key. I, when I first learned I was doing this, it won't work. You have to point the toe underneath this crease here, low. Because okay. when she pivots, it's going to naturally slide up. Makes sense. It's going to slide up to where you want that mm -hmm. side star there. So start, point the toe right here, yeah. and it'll slide up there. Uh -huh. From here, she'll grab the knee, and we'll switch the side star that way. Okay. okay. You can grab this foot first if you want. Put the foot over. Once she feels that, then she can lean back, right? When she leans back, this leg's gonna go. Okay. So one thing that she can do is really engage her leg, engage her core, keep that leg up, and push all the weight off of this foot here, and it makes the transition nice and fluid, slower, okay? So we'll switch the feet from here. Even before I switch this, I can, I can pivot here mm -hmm. to keep that solid. This is easier for her to balance than the feet being parallel, right? From here, toes, really key. Not way in here. Not up here, right to find that crease, uh -huh. go right around there. And you have to okay. turn that toe in just like a lot of those strange up. Uh -huh. From there, a lot of times the flyer will grab the wrong low, grab this leg. <laughs> Guide them, say, okay, grab that leg. Okay. And this here, you have to lower this leg. Yeah, I lower this leg. Okay. I can actually hold on to here and pull if she needs to leverage her. Okay. And once she's up, I, I lower this leg, get her hips stacked, then I push up. Okay. From there. Really scary transition. Yeah, that's a hard one. She comes as far the hardest one. She's coming over. Mm -hmm. Over. Stacked arms, nice. Okay, I'm grabbing the foot. Okay. Boom. Nice. She's keeping that leg up. Yep. Hardest part here. Pivot. Toes. Aim it exact. It's very mm -hmm. precise. There. You can hop here to leverage a bit. Lower the leg. She'll come up. So you're actually guiding around with the other foot too. Yeah, this foot, you saw that? So I do that a lot of tracing. I use okay. my foot actually like a sculptor. I'm like kind of sculpting, yeah. hey, go that way. <laughs> Instead of saying it verbally, sometimes it helps to guide her so they know okay. kinetically like where to go. Over, stacked on. Yeah, it makes it a little fluid. It's interesting. You can, but it, it's key for her to really lock this arm out mm -hmm. for that to work. Last transition right here, I'm grabbing the foot over and to there mm -hmm. and then over let's go reverse one more time okay now if i want to do the whole thing this is where i skipped where i go right to this hip 
and she has to grab that foot and go and come over this way. <laughs> it's hard, that's why I taught.